Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to 2018. Yes, it is 2018, unbelievably. So uh, we're a few days into the year and I haven't posted a video yet. This is a quick catch up. Um, uh, just to let you know what's going to be going on this year because there's obviously a lot going on. It's very cold and windy here in the UK so I've got my dressing gown on I'm afraid so. <laughs> okay so um, obviously the most important thing that's going to be happening to me in 2018 is in a, in a month I'm going to be having my baby which is bizarre but um, so although I will be continuing to film and pop things on my channel things might slow down especially around February and April. February and April? February and March? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, especially towards the the um, middle of, of February onwards. Um, at least for a little while. Not permanently. I will be still be making videos as and when I can. But I do have some plans, hopefully, that we will be able to continue with. So um, we'll start with booktube because I still am um, doing my booktube. I uh, uh, read books, obviously. Um, the first thing is the 2018 Goodreads Challenge. Uh, last year in 2017 my challenge was 150 books and I read 156. So um, I'm not up in my challenge by much this year due to the circumstances and because I slowed down at the end of last year. Um, so I've just set it to 155. Now at the moment I'm three for three, which is January the third today, and I've actually completed three books. The reason being is that I finished off two books that I started last year, so that helps. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan. So then the next thing on my list is to buy less books um, and to reduce the physical TBR pile, which you can see part of just there. There's also uh, along the wall a lot of books, well over a hundred physical books. I want to get that down significantly by not buying as many books. Obviously I am still going to buy books. I'm still going to be buying the Stephen King ones for the Stephen King thon that we're doing with Missy Binge Reader as per last year uh, but I don't want to be going out buying 30 or 40 books a month because I'm just not reading that many uh, so I want to get the t physical TBR down I've also got something like about uh, seven or eight hundred Kindle books to read as well so I'm going to try and get rid of some of those while I'm at it. There will be more book spotlights. I'm hoping to do some more of those, whether they be on Marilyn Monroe or other film stars. Mostly they will be um, uh, photo books or picture books of, uh, so for instance, we could do Marilyn, Judy Garland and uh, other film stars, Elvis Presley, musical stars, um, and also photo, actual photo books that, you know, about photography. Uh, so that's something I will be doing more of. They don't take too long to film. There were some of the book spotlights for Marilyn. I do need to go back and reread the books because it's been a long time. Bookshelf tours. I've been saying I'm going to do an entertainment bookshelf tour for ages um, but I haven't done it and the main reason I haven't done it as of yet is I can't get down to the bottom shelf to do it. So that'll probably happen once the baby's arrived and I can uh, do it on a Saturday afternoon when Paul's home he can look after her while I come up and and do that kind of filming but I will do them it, it's going to be there. Uh, tags I like doing tags I never seem to get tags in anything so I just watch a few and if I like them I'll just do them. I also want to update my blog uh, books 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 which I have done very intermediately in the last few months I've got lots of reviews I can put on there uh, so I will be updating hopefully that a lot more this year I've just got lazy with doing things like that, sadly. Uh, so I think that's it for the book things. There might be one or more, one or two more. Um, but the main thing is, it's just to complete to, to complete the Goodreads challenge and to continue to read. And there will be hauls, oh, as and when I do get books. I've got a December haul to do. Um, it's not got a huge amount, but there are a few books in there. And obviously there will be wrap ups. And again, I've got my December wrap up to do, which will be coming in the next day or so. I didn't read many in December. Again, it was a very slow reading month for me. So there's so much going on uh, in December with uh, Christmas, obviously. So the second thing will be um, colouring. So when we do the colourings, um, my plan is, I've probably got about 30 books I haven't actually coloured a single page in. So my plan for this year is to colour a page in every single book I've got um, and, and get them all started. Buy less colouring books and supplies. This is easier said than done because I get paid, I go and look on Amazon, I think, well, I want that calorie book. I've got one on pre-order. Um, uh, and with regards to supplies, I got given um, some coloured pencils for Christmas. And there are other sets, and I want to get those, so I've got the complete set. 
one set um, has been out a while and the next set's coming out fairly shortly. So although there will be hauls, they won't be as, as many, hopefully. And there'll be more colour and chats, obviously, and colour and catch up. So, uh, you know, I've, I've shown you all the colouring books I've got so far. If you want to see me colouring one of those, just leave a comment below and I'll pull one out and we'll do a page from that. Marilyn Monroe, as you know, I love Marilyn Monroe. You've seen a lot of Marilyn on this channel. Um, what with my Marilyn Bookshelf tour, Marilyn Book Hauls and some of the book spotlights. So there will be more uh, Marilyn Book Spotlights and I will be carrying on with the scrapbook flip throughs. There are still a lot. Um, I've also been asked to show other parts of my collection, for instance, my collector's plates. They're actually up in the attic at the moment in boxes because I've got nowhere else to put them. I am not allowed up in the attic at the moment due to obvious reasons of climbing the stepladder. So again, that will be something that will be done um, maybe around April or May. And of course, there will be um, more Marilyn Book Hauls as I get them in. Like I say, I buy a Marilyn book every now and again. I put it in a pile. I don't put them in the normal book haul. Uh, so once I've got 10 Marilyn books, I will do a Marilyn book haul. I think I've got about five at the moment. They are piling up slowly. <laughs> Yay! Uh, but I, I can't tell you when that will be. And um, there'll also be, I mean, a, a video on the 10 Marilyn books you should avoid at all costs. You may have seen previously, if you've watched the Marilyn book videos, um, the 10 Marilyn books you should own and the 10 Marilyn photo books you should own. Obviously this is subject to change as new things are released. There's a couple of new books coming out this year I've got on pre-order. Uh, but um, generally, something like the books to avoid is only going to grow. Um, I'm going to limit it to, to 10 books or authors because there are some uh, authors that have written multiple books. So I'm just going to club them all under a one one group in and say look just avoid anything by this author and and that so there may be more 10 more than 10 books in the list but uh, it'll be around 10 10 authors to avoid um because they're just because they're awful <laughs> really and finally with regards to the photography um i am going to be doing more photography on on and showing you more photographs on this channel because i do like doing it um the main thing for me though, it will be updating my photo blog, which is Andrew Pratt Photography at WordPress.com. Um, I don't update it very often. Um, I sort of got out of the habit of doing it. I've got, sorry, the camera's not focusing. A lot of digital images still to edit. And I've still got a load of roll of film to develop from when I was on holiday in October. I haven't been doing anything like that. I haven't felt up to it. So I want to do that. Uh, one of the things I want to do is to do a challenge this year, which is called the 52 Rolls Challenge. Now, normally with a 52 Rolls Challenge, it is exactly what it says on the tin, 52 rolls of film. And normally you would shoot one roll of film a week. Obviously that is not going to be possible um, due to the impending baby arriving. So I will endeavor to shoot 52 rolls in one uh, year in one 52 week period but I can't guarantee that they will all be shot one a week so for instance we're on the 3rd of January it's Wednesday I haven't taken any photographs the weather's been pretty atrocious um the one day it was fairly nice I was feeling really lousy so I didn't go out I didn't feel like going outside so it may be that one week I won't shoot anything at all, but the following week I may shoot two or three rolls. Um, my idea for 52 rolls is to shoot 52 different rolls of film. There's only about 20 in here. I've got 21 rolls of film at the moment, one's in a camera. Um, so yeah, I'm going to shoot 52 rolls of different film. So for instance, I've got four or five different types of Ilford film. So I've got an SFX which is their special effects film. I've got Delta 3200, I've got FP4, I've got HP5, I've got Kodak T-Max 100, Tri-X 400, Portra 400. So different types of film, but you may have two or three of the same brand. So Kodak, Ilford, there's some Agfa, and so on. I haven't got 52 rolls. I will be buying a couple of rolls of film each month as well, just to keep the stocks up. Now, the three cameras I will be using predominantly for this project are my Canon A1, which is my go-to uh, 35mm SLR, 
there is a roll of film in this at the moment. The first roll is Silver Max by Adox, which I love. Um, I'm hoping to try the new Polaroid Originals film soon, uh, since the Possible Project rebranded as Polaroid Originals. They've re-released their film stocks, so I will be using my Polaroid P, which I still think looks like a little cyber map from Dot Who. Because I'm a bit strange that way. Um, yeah, so there'll be a black and white and a colour film going through that one at some point. Just because I want to try the stock, see what they're like. And of course for medium format, I'll be using my Rolleiflex T, which is my most favourite, favourite camera. Yes, I will be using this one. So that's the plans for the photography ones. Now, I may do some photo walks. I am thinking about getting a cheap gopro style camera i'm not going to go out and spend 300 pounds on a camera because i may not use it enough I'm, my plan is to buy a cheaper version see how i get on with it if i like the way it goes then i will get a, a proper one uh, down the line it's just going to be easier when i'm taking photographs if i'm doing a photo walk to mount it on the top of say for instance my um card on the road on top of the slr and do it then carrying the dslr around as well which is obviously quite a clunky camera i can also mount it on other things should i need to if i'm using the roller flex or the polaroid so there's that so we're planning on hopefully going on holiday to 10 me again this year for a few days if not a week so i might do some vlogging down there um that'll be at the end of the week you'll see that because there won't be any wi-fi where i'll be staying and also I want to do uh, St Fagans again this year, I haven't been for a while. St Fagans is a fantastic place to vlog from and take photographs of. It's, it's, a, it's the, the Museum of Welsh History and basically they've dismantled some buildings from various places, historical buildings from around Wales them and rebuilt them in this this in this one massive park called St Fagans so for instance you've got um, I think it's the Miners Institute from I think I want to say Oakdale but I'm not 100% sure so don't I'm not 100% sure on that uh, they've got an old post office they've got an old toll gate um, there's an old photographers in there and they actually have a photographer in there taking digital photos sadly obviously uh, in the style of the old ones and they got all the costumes so it's all it's really fantastic so i'm hoping to get over there and do that this year so that'll all be coming on this channel the most important thing is that we have fun and we all stay positive we don't want any any negativity there's been a lot of negativity around lately with in various things whether it's in booktube about people only buying new books and they shouldn't be reading old books or the colouring people colour tube people saying oh you shouldn't be using expensive pencils to colour in colouring books it's a waste of money we're not going to get involved in that on this channel basically it's you use what you can afford and you enjoy yourself and have a good time because that's all this is about i mean i'm sure there are people out there think oh she's posted another photography video i'm not interested in that that's fine don't watch it oh it's another Marilyn video I'm not into that actually Marilyn videos are some of the most popular ones so I'm not gonna stop doing those oh it's a book one I'd rather it be coloring oh it's a coloring run I'd rather it be a book one well I'm sorry I'm gonna post what I want on my channel and I have a lot of hobbies I do as you know and I get excited about all of them and sometimes I will go mad on photography and I'll do nothing but photography for a couple of months and then I won't do anything for ages and then I'll just read for months and I'll read like four or five books a week but that's the way I am so I'm gonna post what's going on in my life it's my channel um, I'm still gonna give shout outs to some of my favorite booktubers and my favorite color tubers and my other favorite youtubers as well as we go and I will obviously leave links to their channels um, in the videos when I do mention them so that's just a quick update well I say a quick update it's nearly 15 minutes long uh, about what's going to be happening on Andrea's Attic in the next 12 months so for 2018 I hope you're having a fantastic start to your new year whether you be coloring or reading or doing photography or even collecting stuff you know I love it all I mean I if you if you collect something and you're watching this let me know if you've got any videos of your collection I'll go and watch them I love looking at people's collections even if it's something I'm not into I find it fascinating the things that people collect so if you collect trains I'll happily go and watch a collection of trains 
and a model planes, Airfix models, Wizards of Oz, other movie memorabilia, books, toys, Star Wars memorabilia. If you collect anything like that, do let me know. And if you've got any videos up, please let me know and I will go and watch them because I love it. I love people's collections and I love watching them. In fact, there are some collectors I do watch their videos of and I, again, I'll give them a shout out in a future video. But that's all for me now. I've waffled on for long enough. I need to go and start tea because it's getting on and uh, I'm shattered, as you can imagine. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping to get back into my regular filming spot tomorrow because as you can see, the light's not very good in here. I haven't got my, my proper lamps. Um, but at the moment uh, it's a bit full up with Christmas decorations ready to go back up in the attic but um, I need the other half to do that but I'll try and get in there to film so we'll have a book haul coming and a December wrap up and we'll do a colour and catch up as soon as I can as well I'm hoping next week this week's been quite hectic but I'm hoping next week will be a bit calmer because I've had to um, I've had a few appointments this week and I've got I've to lend my car to my dad and I'm having to drive him to the shops tomorrow because his car's being in the garage being fixed so he's got no transport so um, I've been all over the place this week trying to sort stuff out um, and I will see you all soon so happy new year everybody and I hope let's keep it going let's keep it all positive let's have a great year on YouTube let's just have fun let's not worry about everything the whole point of YouTube is it's fun we're sharing our passions so let's enjoy them let's not be down on each other let's be constructive let's be encouraging and let's just have a great time I'll see you soon. Bye.